Today we received the sad news that Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II has died. Her life spanned almost 100 years and her reign lasted over 70 years, with the Platinum Jubilee only being celebrated a few months ago. Four out of five people living in the UK have only seen Queen Elizabeth II on the throne and so the shocking news of Her Majesty's death sits deep. While the world around the Queen constantly changed, Queen Elizabeth stood still, always keeping up her role as a figurehead. Her long life was marked by ups and downs, which she faced with dignity. We witness such a major event while we lose such a historical person. With her reign of over 70 years, Queen Elizabeth II is the longest of any monarch in British history. Upon the death of Her Majesty the Queen, her son Charles ascended the throne as Charles III after serving as the longest Prince of Wales. To reflect and remember Her Majesty the Queen, I will bring to you seven highlights of her long life. Starting off at the beginning of her life, the then Princess Elizabeth of York was born on the 21st of April 1926 to her parents who were then the Duke and Duchess of York. She was named Elizabeth Alexandra Mary after her mother, her great-grandmother and her grandmother. The young Princess Elizabeth was not expected to one day become Queen. Being born during the reign of her grandfather, George V, Elizabeth was third in line to the throne behind her uncle Edward and her father, Albert. At that point it was expected that her uncle Edward would marry and have children of his own. But when he abdicated in 1936 after only a few months on the throne, Elizabeth suddenly was the heir presumptive to her father, George VI. Elizabeth was only 13 years old when the Second World War broke out. She and her sister Margaret had to be moved to Windsor Castle as Buckingham Palace was being bombed by the German Luftwaffe. At 14, the young Elizabeth made her first radio broadcast on BBC speaking to other children that had to be evacuated from their homes. In 1945, the then 19-year-old Elizabeth trained as a driver and mechanic and was given the rank of honorary junior commander. She and her family celebrated Victory Day on the balcony of Buckingham Palace with Winston Churchill by their side. Jump forward two years, the engagement of Princess Elizabeth to Prince Philip of Greece and Denmark was just announced. They had met as children and fell in love as teenagers. Philip was her second cousin once removed through Christian IX and her third cousin through Queen Victoria. The marriage followed that same year on November 20th. Their first child and heir was born a year later. Three more children followed. In January 1952, Elizabeth and Philip went on a tour of Australia and New Zealand by way of Kenya. Only a few days after their arrival, while visiting Kenya, Elizabeth was informed of the death of her father and that she had now become queen. The new queen and the prince consort immediately returned back to the UK. The coronation took place the following year, on June 2, 1953, despite the death of her grandmother who had died three months earlier. The coronation which was held at Westminster Abbey was the first to be broadcasted in TV with roughly 300 million people from across the world watching. On the 11th of May 2011, Queen Elizabeth surpassed the reign of her great-great-great-great-grandfather, King George III. The following year, the Queen celebrated 60 years on the throne with her Diamond Jubilee taking place in the summer of 2012. Fast forward three years, Queen Elizabeth surpassed the reign of her great-great-grandmother, Queen Victoria, becoming the longest reigning monarch in British history. On the 6th of February of this year, Queen Elizabeth II marked 70 years on the throne. The celebrations for her Platinum Jubilee were held just three months ago. As a highlight, Her Majesty appeared in a short video with Paddington Bear. However, due to her declining health, she had to miss the national service of Thanksgiving.